All right, let's move on to chapter 7. Uh, number 41, notice that this equation we have to solve, there is an x squared. And that means that we must do some factoring to find out the solution and make sure that the whole quantity factored is equal to 0, which in this case it already is. But what we're going to do is factor out x, and we're left with 3x plus 8 is equal to 0. And now these two factors separately will be considered equal to 0. x could equal 0, or 3x plus 8 equals 0. x equals 0 here has already been solved. There's nothing to do. But for this one, we'll add negative 8 to each side. And we get 3x equals negative 8 and divide each side by 3, so x is a negative 8 thirds. Typically what we do, since we have two solutions, is put them together in one area and say x equals 0, comma, negative 8 thirds. In number 42, we must solve this equation, and this is a trinomial. Um, we're going to have to use a factor game to factor it. Um, in fact, Number 41 and number 42 are called quadratic equations because they have that x squared term. But we do need to use the factor game, and so let's find the key number, which is 15 times negative 2, which is negative 30. And the sum number is negative 7. So the two factors of negative 30 that add to negative 7 are negative 10 and 3. And that is how we're going to split up the negative 7x into negative 10x and positive 3x. So we have a 15x squared minus 10x plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. And we will do our grouping at this point in time, and we have a plus sign between them. And out of the first grouping, we can factor 5x, and as we do, we're left with 3x minus 2. Out of the second grouping, there's nothing to factor, so the factor that's common actually is just 1. And 1 times 3x minus 2 equal to 0. And now we can factor out the 3x minus 2. And what we get here is 5x plus 1. And all of that's equal to 0. And now we set each individual factor equal to 0. The 5x plus 1 can equal 0, or the 3x minus 2 equals 0. In the first equation, we'll subtract 1 from each side, so 5x equals negative 1, and then divide by 5, x equals negative 1 fifth. Similarly here, we'll do 3x is equal to positive 2, as we add 2 to each side, and then divide by 3, x is 2 thirds. And as I mentioned before, it's typical to write them as, in one area, x equals negative one-fifth, comma, two-thirds. Two solutions. All right, number 43. Again, we have a quadratic equation because there's an x squared term in there. But this one is not yet set equal to 0. And to do that, what we must consider is moving the 6x and the 16 from the right side to the left side. The way we're going to do that is to, first of all, subtract 6x from each side. And with that, we get x squared minus 6x, still equal to 16. And now we'll subtract 16 from each side. Now notice that I'm doing this in a way that is putting them in descending order, x squared minus 6x minus 16 equal to 0. And that equal to 0 is the thing that we were working toward. We could have done this all in one step instead of the 6x and then the 16. And now we must factor. I'm going to go ahead and just do the factoring right now. And you can go ahead and double check my work, make sure I did it correctly, or factor it yourself and make sure that it's correct. Anyway, we end up with x minus 8 is equal to 0, or x plus 2 is equal to 0. And that means x equals 8. And the other one, I'll just put it right here. We can see it's going to be negative 2.